Okay, this is the water supply activity, and I've given you kind of some parts here to kind of step you through these steps because none of the steps are hard, but there's a lot of steps to it. So here's our problem. Take a minute to read this. Pause the video. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is find the static head. You'll remember the static head is the elevation of the water tower minus the elevation of the water meter. So that's just the water level here minus that. Calculate that. Then you need to do the head loss. How much do we lose out of this static head for our pipe? So first we're going to calculate the amount of pipe we have. So we're going to take the length of the pipe, which is this mark right there, put it in here, change it over to feet right there. Then we need to calculate each one of these because we lose extra length when we have an elbow or one of these other parts. If I have a 90 degree elbow and I have an 8 inch ductile pipe, I need to look it up on my table. Here's the table I gave you, and I'm looking for an 8 inch pipe. Here's the 8 inch pipe, and a 90 degree elbow is right here. What that means is one elbow is the same as 12 foot of pipe. So I'm going to put 12 foot of pipe here, two elbows here from right there, two elbows. 2 times 12 would be 24, and I put that number right here. Do the same for the rest of these and add these up. This is going to give us our length that we're going to use for L here. Once you've got that, we're going to do our Heisen-Williams constant formula here. L is this number we just added up here. Q is the flow rate. That's right here, flow rate, right there. C is our Hayes and Williams constant. That comes from the formula table. If I look up here, I need to look up the kind of pipe we're dealing with. What kind of pipe do we have? It's cast iron. So you should be using the typical design value for cast iron and plug it in for C here. Then your diameter here is your diameter in inches. So you're gonna look it up from right there. Plug those all in. Be sure you put the bottom in parentheses when you put in your calculator to find your head loss HF. Then you do your dynamic head. That's the static head you got here minus the head loss you got here to find the dynamic head. To find the actual pressure, you just take this dynamic head and multiply times this conversion factor to get the actual pressure. And then finally, we can now use this to answer our next question. What is the static head at the sink on the second floor if the sink faucet elevation is 14 feet above the meter elevation. So what we need to do to find the static head of the sink is take the static head at the meter, which we had up here, static head at the meter, this number, and minus the height of the sink. So do that to find the static head at the sink. Now we want to do a third part here. The water supply line from the meter in the house up to that second floor sink is a one inch copper fitted pipe with screw fittings. And read the rest of this information here. We're basically going to go through the same steps now with this here. So when we look at our table, we're now looking at copper and we're looking at screwed fittings. And what size of the pipe was it? One inch copper pipe. So we're looking here at screwed fittings, one inch copper pipe. So you're going to get your information from here to fill these in, just like you did before, same formula from before, and then these following parts step you through the exact same steps we did on the previous page. That's all there is to finishing this. Thanks.